Hello everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time to show you all the cool stuff I got from you guys in the month of June 2018. I've got a stack of stuff up here over here just off camera that I'm gonna show to you. Uh, I'm gonna show you some things that I got at JoeCon. Uh, people gave things to me. I don't have everything that I got at JoeCon here. Uh, some things I have put away in a safe place. Uh, somebody got me um, a Marine Corps uh, coffee mug that was awesome. Uh, some silver coins. Uh, thank you to the folks who gave me those things. Uh, so if you uh, gave me something at Joe Con and you don't see it here, uh, that, that's probably why I'm still going through a lot of the stuff that I got from Joe Con and I haven't gone through it all. Uh, but I didn't want to wait. I wanted to show you some of this stuff uh, here uh, now that we're at the end of the month in June and we've got so much stuff coming up in July. Uh, so I'm going to do that and I also have to apologize. Uh, I don't remember who gave me all of these things at JoeCon, uh, the names of the people. I should have written them down. Uh, but if you were there, you know how crazy that weekend was. It was a very hectic weekend. Uh, I don't want to uh, give anyone uh, the wrong credit for giving me certain things. So uh, if you see something here that you gave me at JoeCon, uh, please tell me that that was yours so I can give you the proper thanks for it. So I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to show you some other things that uh, were sent to me through the mail. And I've got one box that was sent to me, uh, or actually given to me in Memphis on the way to JoeCon. It was the same guy who gave me the Mean Dog. Uh, he had another box of stuff uh, for me, uh, G.I. Joe stuff, so I'm going to show that to you. Before we get started, I just made a decision. I'm also going to show you some of the stuff I got at JoeCon. So this will also be a JoeCon haul video, but I'll show you that after I show you the stuff people sent to me. Let's start with a box. Uh, this box came to me from uh, Damon Donegan. Uh, Damon, thank you for this. Uh, I know what this is because he told me what he was going to send to me. Uh, and I have opened the box uh, already so I can see what's in it. And one thing that's in it is a letter um, from Damon. And he says, uh, Hey, Brian, sorry it took me a week longer to get this out than planned. You never have to apologize for anything. Uh, you don't owe it to me, so you never need to apologize for sending things late or even not sending things at all uh, is absolutely fine. It says, if you give me a shout out during the review and or box opening, feel free to use my full name and call sign. Check. Uh, uh, so I know what this is. I don't know exactly when I'm going to review it. Uh, but uh, I will do my best to remember to give you a shout out in that video when I get to it. I would like to get to it soon, though. I would. Um, okay, uh, Damien Donegan, uh, aka Cobra NWO, uh, Damien Donegan. Yes, I, I, I think I pronounced your name right. The pronunciation guide is right there after I already said it. So I hope I said it right. Okay, uh, thank you. All right, let me show you what he sent me. Uh, it is nicely packed in bubble wrap um, and a box. Uh, there's no way this was going to get damaged in shipping. Uh, so I will open this up and show you what it is. Uh, right away, I can see a file card. Uh, and this, let me open this so I can show you. This file card is for Gung Ho version 2. Let me zoom in so you can see that. Gung Ho version 2. Um, I do like this version of Gung Ho. Uh, I, uh, oops, <laughs> snapped some of the bubble wrap. Um, uh, I don't have it complete yet, but uh, Damien is helping me get it complete because not only did he send this, which I needed, he also sent, let me pull this out, Gung Ho's sword that goes with his dress blue uniform. Uh, that is hard to see on camera, uh, but you get the idea. Uh, there we go. It, it's the sword that um, comes with the dress blue uh, Gung Ho. Uh, I am almost ready to review it then. I think I really just need um, the stickers. Uh, that uh, figure came with some stickers, rank insignia, and uh, uh, citation ribbons. And so I think that's it. And then I'll be ready to review it. But this helps get me closer. So thank you, Damien. All right, next thing comes from Del Short. Uh, and I know what this is too, because he told me. Um, and it's something really cool and something that I uh, had not thought of getting myself. Uh, so it's kind of nice that he sent it to me. There are things. There are things in G.I. Joe that I don't uh, think about because it's just outside the scope of what I would normally collect, but they are part of G.I. Joe, uh, and uh, so uh, it is something that I should think about. Um, and this um, appears to be, I see, uh, these are Creo minifigures. 
uh, these uh, Lego compatible figures that uh, Hasbro did for a while, uh, and that's Zartan. Um, and Dell sent me a whole bag of these. Oops. Um, and I'll try to show you some of them. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. I'm going to stop the video, pull these out, and then I'm going to show them to you uh, so you can see what they look like rather than wait on me to uh, unwrap each one. All right, here are these guys. And if memory serves me correctly, uh, these uh, minifigures are called Creons, I believe. Uh, Creo was the, uh, the toy line, the uh, Lego compatible toy line, and I believe the minifigures were called Creons. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Dell, who uh, has been a longtime supporter of the channel, I uh, really appreciate that guy, uh, sent these to me, uh, and he was wanting to make a point, and I want to uh, pass that on to you, is that uh, there are ways to collect G.I. Joe uh, that is not expensive. Uh, sometimes, you know, collecting figures and vehicles uh, can get very expensive, uh, but if you enjoy G.I. Joe, there are ways to collect without breaking the bank. And he's exactly right. Um, uh, you can collect Creo, uh, Creon, whatever. Um, you can uh, collect in other ways. Uh, you don't have to collect at all. Sometimes you can just be a fan and enjoy the memories. Um, you do not have to uh, collect the plastic in order to uh, enjoy G.I. Joe. Um, and I, I totally agree with that, uh, and I'm glad that Dell brought it up. Um, some collectors like to treat collecting like a contest. And if that's the way they want to collect, certainly they are welcome to it. Uh, but that's not the way I look uh, at it. Um, I uh, look at it as um, a way to connect to uh, good memories um, and uh, a way to sort of relive those memories and a way to discover uh, things that I didn't know about. So uh, when I collect uh, 90s figures and vehicles, these are new to me. So uh, there is new discovery uh, in collecting to me, uh, as well as nostalgia. So uh, Dell is right. Uh, you know, don't feel like uh, you should have to spend a lot of money to enjoy um, vintage G.I. Joe or modern G.I. Joe figures or collecting in general. Uh, collect, if you want to collect, collect at whatever level uh, is comfortable for you, whatever you will enjoy, because that is the point. This is a hobby. Uh, you're supposed to enjoy it. Uh, if you're not enjoying it, you're probably not doing it right. So uh, thank you for making that point, Dell. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for sending these. Uh, these are pretty awesome. Um, you can see who the, this is Zartan. Uh, we got Snow Job, Wild Bill. We got Mutt and Junkyard. Uh, we got Firefly, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, uh, and Serpentor, who has a little snake. Uh, thank you, Dell, for that. The next item comes from Byron Kellogg. Uh, he's another longtime supporter of the channel, uh, and he sent me something very interesting. This was a surprise, um, and we've got uh, a letter in here, uh, and um, I will read that later. I don't want to uh, read the whole thing now, uh, but. One thing about these letters is whenever you send me a letter uh, with uh, anything that you send to the channel, anything you donate, um, I actually keep these. I keep all of these. I have a, a really large envelope that has all of these in them, and uh, I'm going to keep those. Uh, not just, you know, for uh, a while, not just for the duration of this project, uh, but I intend to keep those uh, forever. Um, you know, when I'm old and gray in the nursing home and I want to look back at these years and remember what we did here, these will be my reminders. I'm going to hold on to these uh, and I'm going to look back at these to remember these years in my life and my connection uh, with all of you. So uh, thank you, Byron, for the letter. And uh, he sends um, Action Man uh, coins. And these are totally new to me. Uh, check these out. Let's see if we can get these zoomed in so you can see them. They're like little silver coins. Um, it looks like they have, what, uh, five of them? According to the back, they have uh, aviation, military, adventure, urban, and enemy. Oh, these, that may not be five coins, it may be five categories. Uh, but yeah, I had no idea that these existed. Um, and I'm gonna look them up. Um, this is just a really fascinating piece of uh, G.I. Joe or Action Man uh, history, and uh, 
I would like to know more about them. So thank you for uh, sending these, Byron. Uh, you have piqued my interest with these. And thank you for all your support. Uh, Byron has been supportive of this channel for quite some time, uh, and it's really much appreciated. Okay, this next package uh, requires some explanation. Uh, this uh, came from John Carling. And John Carling did some artwork uh, for the channel, uh, which you will see soon. Um, that uh, The first Cobra Convergence uh, video from me uh, has his artwork uh, in the title card. And so uh, thank you for that, John. Uh, it's, uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, and all of the artists who have contributed lately uh, to the channel, uh, your work is just mind-blowing. Uh, the fact that you would be willing to just volunteer and donate your work to the channel uh, it means uh, more to me than I can tell you. Uh, John, um, I, I intended to have him do more uh, artwork this month. Uh, didn't quite work out just due to behind the scenes stuff. Uh, I don't like changing plans like that. I kind of feel bad. But I hope that John will do more artwork in the future because I really like his stuff. He's got a very unique and cool style. Uh, but this is some of his other stuff. This um, is a sketchbook of his. Uh, let me make sure, zoom in so you can see. Just really cool. I mean, this is like for real legitimate artwork stuff. Um, not, not the kind of amateur hour stuff that I do. Uh, sorry, I should be showing you instead of just looking at it myself. Um, but this is really cool stuff. Um, and I sent a t-shirt. Uh, you'll see the t-shirt because I'm gonna wear it in the video. Uh, so John, uh, thank you uh, for these. Um, and this, this is so cool. Uh, and thank you for the t-shirt. Uh, I love the t-shirt. I will wear the t-shirt. I had that upside down, sorry. He includes a postcard. It says, uh, hi, Brian. Hope you enjoy the bag of loot. I do. Uh, some of my zines. Yep. And one of my shirts. Uh, I got the shirt and it's in a video already. Uh, plus uh, black major test casting. So I wanted to show this to you. Thanks for all the hard work. Uh, best, John Carling. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, and this is... Uh, the Black Major test casting of what looks like a Cobra Trooper. I have some, um, you know, fully colored uh, blue Cobra Troopers, uh, but this is uh, just a plain white resin uh, casting of a Cobra Trooper uh, from the Black Major. And for those of you who don't know, the Black Major um, is not just a character in uh, Action Force. Uh, it's also a guy in the community who uh, does um, uh, replica uh, and custom figures, uh, actually casts them uh, and produces them like this. Uh, they are not exactly like the vintage figures, but some of them look a lot like the vintage figures. So uh, you do have to kind of exercise caution um, if you want to get an authentic uh, vintage action figure and make sure it's not a reproduction. Uh, but the Black Major's reproductions are uh, considered to be pretty high quality, uh, and probably the highest quality. Uh, so um, if you do want reproductions, that's what to look for. If you see a listing uh, on eBay or anywhere else that says Black Major, that's what they're talking about. Uh, it's a high quality reproduction of a vintage figure. And sometimes they are customs, so they don't look like the vintage figure. Like, you know, you'll get like a, a Tiger Force uh, Starduster. And of course, Starduster was never issued in Tiger Force colors, but the Black Major makes it in Tiger Force colors. So if you ever wanted something like that or just imagined what it would look like, you can get those things now uh, from the Black Major. So uh, there's that really cool thing. Um, and so that gives me an opportunity to talk a little bit about Black Major figures. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, John. And uh, don't forget to check out johncarling.com. Uh, his website uh, because I he is a legit artist uh, and you should check him out. All right, let's look at a little bit of Jokon stuff. Not stuff that I got myself, but stuff that was given to me. Uh, this came from Kevin from SEO Toy Reviews. He, he sent stuff to me before, but he's able to actually hand this to me at Jokon. And what a cool guy he is. And he is participating in Cobra Convergence 3. Don't miss his video. Uh, he has... Uh, a really excellent uh, toy review channel uh, doing like for real toy reviews um, uh, unlike you know kind of the uh, the stuff that I do which includes a lot of you know goofy stuff he, he does it for real um, and he knows so a lot about toys 
um, and a lot about collecting, and I really admire that guy. A great channel, great person, and great to meet in person, uh, and uh, Special Missions Brazil mainframe. Really cool. So this gets me a little bit closer to uh, finishing Special Missions Brazil so I can review it. I do need to get his accessories and file card, uh, but I'm not worried about that. But thank you, Kevin, uh, for Special Missions Brazil um, uh, mainframe uh, version 2 uh, and those Special Missions Brazil colors. Uh, that is special. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Okay, I zoomed out, but I'll have to zoom right back in uh, to show you this. A guy at JoeCon, and I am sorry, I don't think I caught his name. I'm not sure he told me his name, uh, but uh, he made this. This, you're gonna like this. This is a custom ice cream soldier, but check this out. This is an awesome custom. Uh, with instead of that bright orange and yellow, we have red, uh, we have black, we have a little bit of blue, uh, and that is such a vast improvement on the original. That, that really shows what could be done with that mold uh, if you gave him some different colors. This is special. This is amazing. Uh, I mean, this makes me like Ice Cream Soldier, if you can believe that. Uh, so thank you uh, for giving that to me at JoeCon. All right, here's something special, and this is from David Jones. Uh, he is a longtime friend of the channel. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, this is Topside, uh, a figure that I've been aiming to get uh, for some time. Uh, he is complete. He has uh, his uh, third rocket um, for his backpack. Um, so two rockets in the backpack and then a third one and then his gun and helmet. Um, this is a figure I have been uh, thinking about getting for some time. So thank you, David, uh, for that. And he did come with a file card. This is a foreign issue file card. I'm not sure which country it's from, uh, but uh, it is in English. Uh, so possibly UK, I don't know, but I will check. But very excited to get Topside Complete. Um, very interesting figure uh, for a number of reasons, and I'll have plenty to say about it when I review it, but there's Topside thanks to David. Um, now I think it's time to open the big stuff. Okay, this box came from Kyle in Memphis, um, and as uh, you may recall, uh, he gave me the uh, Mean Dog, which I already reviewed. Uh, and this is a great big box. Um, and uh, he said that if I already have it, it's fine, I can sell it, uh, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to appreciate that uh, Kyle was thoughtful enough to give me some Joe stuff. So uh, let's see what uh, Kyle gave me. Oh, there is a letter in here, again, to go with uh, all of the other letters that uh, I will be keeping. Uh, it says, oh my word, what could it be? Thanks for the vids, yo Joe. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Um, and I think I know what it might be, and oh, it is what I thought it was. Okay, all right, all right. I did figure, I, he didn't tell me what it was going to be, but um, he gave me some hints and I, I did figure it out. This is the, oh, careful now, the Thunderclap. That's the, that's the instructions and sticker sheet right there, uh, and... Yeah. Oh, look, it's, I think it's all here. I think he said it's all here. There might be a clip or two that's uh, broken on it, but this thing is sizable. This thing is massive. Um, and let's see if I can put it together um, in a way that you can see it. Because um, uh, it, it links together like a, like a, a train. I want to make sure I didn't drop anything in there. Um, there we go. Uh, and let's see, I believe, well, I think, no, that's right, that's right. Uh, nope, 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 I got it wrong, I got it wrong, don't I? Okay, no problem, no problem. I'll switch it around. See, this is off camera, so you can't see it very well anyway, so. Um, that goes like that. There we go. And that goes like that. Um, and, yeah, right in here, he has, yeah, parts and pieces, uh, and, uh, oh yeah, he's got a list of the flaws, uh, and I'm not going to worry about that. Um, now, it, in fact, I did already have a thunderclap, but uh, this is in excellent shape. It may be in better shape than the one that I have, uh, and so uh, I may 
uh, end up keeping this one uh, and selling the other one, actually, because this is more special. This is more special than something I just bought for myself. Uh, this is something that uh, someone uh, gave to me. I'm going to lower the camera so you can see the thunderclap better. All right, there, I think you can see it uh, better. Uh, it's very long. It's a big cannon uh, that elevates and, um, let's see, um, it, it's got these shells. Oh, I'm sorry. I knew this was in there and I saw it, but I forgot to take it out. Um, it does have uh, the figure. Uh, it says missing gun and file card, but that's all, all, it's all right, I have it. Uh, long range. What I think is the most remarkable is that it has the unused sticker sheet. Looks like some of the stickers have been applied, but most of them are still on the sheet. Uh, and the instruction book um, is really cool. So I'll have to decide if I want to put the stickers on. That's something I love to do. If you've seen any of my assembly videos, uh, that's the part that I enjoy. Uh, but yeah, this is amazing. I mean, what a gift. Um, uh, yes, it, I do have one already, but if I'm going to keep one, I'll keep this one. Um, so ready for review. Totally ready for review. Um, and this, this would be a big review for a great big vehicle. I mean, look at that. Three sections, giant cannon. Um, I believe this is the largest cannon in uh, vintage G.I. Joe. Uh, massive. So thank you, Kyle. Um, to say I'm impressed is an understatement. Uh, that you would think of me uh, for this is uh, very humbling. Um, and, and all I can say uh, is thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, I had to move the thunderclap out of the way because I have another big box. And this is uh, the last thing that was sent to me just before I went to Jokon. Uh, this is from uh, Fragminian, uh, who uh, I recognize uh, from the comments section. Uh, Fragminian, I appreciate uh, seeing your comments all the time. I enjoy that. Uh, I don't know if you wanted me to give your, your real name, uh, but you did write your, you wrote your, uh, your screen name right there on the box, so I figured that would be okay. Uh, so uh, thank you for this. Um, I did open it because I uh, wanted to see what was in it. Uh, so I have gone through this a little bit. Another very well packed box, I have to say. Uh, so uh, let's see here. Uh, and oh, and I spilled coffee a little bit on one of them. I was I was literally too excited. I actually uh, knocked over a cup of coffee going through this box. Uh, I, I actually got it the day before I left for Jokon. Um, uh, so, okay, that's a list of the contents, um, and uh, this is a letter, again, that will go with uh, the letters that I keep. Um, let's see, uh, nothing uh, clever or interesting to say. So, uh, here's a box of G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, loves the vids for the info and fun re-remembering of old nostalgias. Big thanks to you, Form BX257, Tim or Joe Fan, Joe Berg, Sanitarium, uh, The Professor, and Marianne for all the fun. Uh, P.S. Don't uh, read that Gilligan's Island gag on camera if you don't think it's funny. Well, I did think it's funny. It, it's good. It's good. I got it. Um, and, uh, you know, FormBX257, Tim or Joe Fan 82 G.I. Joe Berg Sanitarium Production, um, all great guys, um, and it's been my privilege to work with them. Uh, so I extend my thanks to them, too. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, and I've got a contents here, and I'm going to look through that just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, and uh, actually, we got foam bricks. That is some hardcore uh, packing. This stuff not going anywhere. Uh, Postal Service could roll a tank over it, and it would be fine. Uh, so we got some bubble wrap. Uh, we got some pieces. But let me take out the thing that uh, the pieces go to first. This is a modern interpretation of the Skyhawk um, and uh, the uh, zoom in the contents of the box says uh, this is uh, a 30th anniversary steel brigade Skyhawk with snake eyes um, so it's that this is just the shell uh, but it is based on that um, what year was it 84 1984 why can't I remember these things I did a review of it uh, the vintage Skyhawk 
Uh, but as I've been told, this fixes some of the problems that the vintage toy had. Some problems with fragility and just pieces, uh, you know, staying on and not falling off. Uh, it certainly does seem sturdy. It's got a blue clear canopy rather than the, you know, no glass canopy. Um, and uh, we've got instructions here and we've got like the, the skids, the skis and stuff. Oh, and it's got the figure in it. Let's see. That, that's Snake Eyes version something or other, I don't know, um, with some black and blue. Uh, cool figure. Uh, can I zoom in? Come on, you guys. I want to. I want you to see this stuff. Uh, modern era Snake Eyes. And I, I realize what this figure goes to. It goes to something else that's in the box that I haven't shown you yet. Um, so, yeah, here are the pieces to uh, the Skyhawk, and I will put that together later. Uh, along with the, there's also an instruction sheet in here, but also that's for something I haven't shown you yet. Uh, so I will wait uh, so you can see what the actual item is. So let's dig more stuff out. Um, okay, this box has some parts, um, but I'll show you the main thing. Uh, more foam blocks. Excellent, excellent packing. Excellent packing, nothing broken. And this, right here, is a Cobra Rattler. This is not the vintage Cobra Rattler, but it sure looks a lot like it, doesn't it? Uh, the color, uh, the overall look of it, uh, but, you know, really nice condition, pristine, uh, beautiful. Uh, that's what this box is. Uh, these are the parts to it, uh, the missiles and all that. And that's what this figure is. Uh, that is none other than Wild Weasel that goes with it. This list says it's a 2014 Target exclusive Rattler with Wild Weasel. Uh, and I have to say, uh, that's a, an impressive, uh, impressive re-release of the Rattler. Very faithful, uh, got the tilt wing and all that. Um, uh, just really nicely done. Um, the, the, they fixed it so the landing gear opens and closes a little easier, so uh, a little less likely to break than the vintage toy. Uh, so well done on that too. Uh, so uh, uh, that's what I have to show you that people sent to me, um, and so I want to show you some of the stuff that uh, I got at Jocon. Okay, here is uh, my Jocon haul, and uh, I can tell you right now, this isn't all of it. Um, apparently, I have some bits and pieces. Uh, put away and some that I haven't sorted through yet. This is most of it though. I didn't buy as much stuff this year. Uh, I spent more time hanging out with you fine people, which is what I would rather do anyway. I got to meet a lot of you guys. That was super fun. Uh, and honestly, that's uh, better than plastic. Uh, so uh, I don't regret anything at Jocon. Jocon was fantastic. But here's some of the stuff I got. Uh, and I'll... Uh, just go through it here. Um, this is the Cobra Rat, which uh, was in the box, and I did, oh, here it is, uh, I did assemble it from the vintage box, um, and um, I, I did that on camera. You will get a video of that in a couple weeks. Uh, but yeah, there is the uh, 1992 Cobra Rat. I don't want to comment on this too much. I will eventually do a video of it. But I got it. I paid very little for it, and I'm glad I paid very little for it. There's the Cobra Rat. Um, I got just a few box vehicles uh, last day of the convention. I decided I needed to pick up a few things, just uh, check a few things off the list. Uh, picked up a few uh, 90s vehicles, uh, boxed vehicles. Here's one of them, uh, the Razor Blade G.I. Joe Battle Corps. Uh, it is in the box, the box is open, uh, but the contents in the box uh, are sealed. This is one that I will do an unboxing and assembly video for, um, <clears throat> but not just yet. We've, we're looking at Cobra stuff coming up in July. This is not a Cobra vehicle, so this one will have to wait. Another box vehicle, the 1988 Cobra Adder, um, and this is a small vehicle and it's in a Canadian box. Uh, the vehicle is in here, it is complete, it is in great condition, uh, but it's not factory sealed. It was already open, assembled, and the stickers were on it. But it is in here, and I have the box for two. 
Uh, so that's the Cobra Adder. Uh, I got, since I was a supporter of G.I. Joe Berg's GoFundMe campaign to get them to the United States for JoeCon, which was successful, um, I got a t-shirt. Uh, this was just too cool. I could not pass up this Iron Grenadier t-shirt in red. Really nice design, guys. Even if I didn't wasn't a fan of G.I. Joe Berg and I saw this shirt, I would think it was awesome. Really well done. I need to do better t-shirts. I don't have a t-shirt that that's, that's that cool. That's amazing. All right, so that uh, from Joe Kahn. Um, oh, over here I got, uh, this is the Cobra um, rifle range. And it's just pieces, you know, with like uh, the sandbags and the, the targets and the, the rifles and the rifle rack and all that. Um, pretty, pretty basic. Um, prices for these had been uh, running a little higher than I wanted to pay, uh, so um, the cheaper at JoeCon, so I thought, why not pick one up there? And so I did. Uh, and I got, uh, got it for a much better price than what I would have got it for on eBay. So that was from JoeCon. Uh, well, okay here, this guy right here, it is none other than Scoop. Um, and I asked, um, Robert from G.I. Joburg, how many scoop action figures he got on his trip, because I knew he got at least one. Uh, well, I got a scoop, too, uh, and it was because of the microphone. I needed the microphone, I needed a figure that was in slightly better condition, um, and so I don't remember if I have the file card or not, I'll have to check, but um, the figure, at least, is ready to review. And, you know, I'll have a lot to say about scoop, uh, some positive, some negative. Uh, but there, there are some things I like about this figure and the character, so I'll make sure to discuss that, too. Anyway, there's Scoop. Let's see. I got just some random file cards. Um, these uh, just file cards I know that I needed. Um, well, this one I already had, a uh, Steeler. But uh, this goes with a straight arm Steeler that I got, which, oh, I don't have here. I know where it is, though. Hold on. Let me get it. Okay, I got it. Uh, this uh, Steeler is a straight arm Steeler, um, and I didn't have the straight arm version from 1982. I only had the swivel arm from 1983, uh, and I was thinking of redoing that Mobat review, um, and maybe doing it a little better than my first review, and I wanted to have a straight arm Steeler. Now, this one is missing a thumb. Uh, it is complete, though. It's got his, uh, his Uzi in there, uh, helmet and visor. Um, but this guy, other than the broken thumb, is in fantastic condition. Uh, there is hardly any paint wear on this. The gold paint on his arms, it's, it's there. Um, it looks like a kid got this and probably broke the thumb pretty quickly on it and then just like maybe put it in a box and never played with it again. Um, but yeah, Steeler. But yeah, file cards. Um, I, some of them I, I thought I might not have. Oh, well, look at that. I was just talking about the scoop file card, so there you go. There you go. There's scoop with file card ready to review. Uh, I should have remembered that I did pick up the file card uh, at the same time, so anyway. Uh, this was given to me uh, by uh, the guy that dressed up, the, the cosplayer. That guy, William J., uh, gave this to me uh, because he knew that I needed it. I think I mentioned that I didn't have it. So very kind of him to uh, bring this to me. Uh, so uh, this figure, which is what Duke version uh, 4. Man, I lose track of the Duke version, so please forgive me if I got that wrong. But uh, the, the Desert Camo Duke uh, will be ready to review uh, now that I have the file card. Thank you very much. I picked up a Tiger Force Tiger Shark. Uh, it is complete uh, with the blueprints uh, and in pretty good shape. Uh, the pieces are here. Uh, there is a little bit of repair I need to do um, with some of the uh, tabs where the uh, steering vanes connect to uh, the, uh, the housing here for the fan uh, are broken. I can fix that. I'll just need to play with it just a little bit to, to fix it. I'll get around to that eventually. Uh, but uh, it was very inexpensive because of that, and it's a fairly easy fix. Uh, so, um, Tiger Force, Tiger Shark. And the thing that uh, everybody is probably waiting to see, um, it's not a large item, but it's uh, by far the most expensive item that I got at Jocon. Uh, this right here is the uh, Cat uh, Crimson Attack Tank from, what year was it? I think 1985. Uh, it was a Sears exclusive, so it tends to be rather 
rare and expensive. Um, it, it, it's expensive. It's uh, less expensive at Jocon than uh, I would get it on eBay, but uh, this sucker is complete. It's got the battery cover. It's got the gun cap. Uh, those are the things that are usually missing. Uh, it is entirely intact with all of its stickers. Uh, I haven't tested it out to see if it works, but that is less important to me than just having the parts here. For purpose of uh, review, um, this is basically a black and red version of the Mobat. My Mobat works fine. Um, if I needed to demonstrate the motorized feature, I could do that on the Mobat. Uh, but this uh, is in fantastic condition. I'm thrilled to have it. Uh, and it's just cool. I ran into Ed Schumacher, the organizer of Joe Fest, uh, and uh, this will be the event next year. Um, I will be going to it. It is not an official G.I. Joe convention. It is an unofficial fan convention, um, and I will be there. Uh, they've invited me. Uh, they're giving me a table. They're giving me a panel, uh, and uh, I'm very excited to go. It's uh, in Augusta, Georgia. It'll be the same weekend next year that Joe Con was on this year. Uh, so June 22nd, uh, 2019, um, Augusta, Georgia, Joe Fest. A bunch of your uh, favorite people from Joe Con will be there. And this may be the event that replaces Joe Con. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. I'm very excited. Um, and so I'm going to be reminding you of this all year in, in the hopes that uh, some of you will go to it. So uh, Joe Fest, uh, he gave me that. He also gave me uh, a couple uh, posters, uh, some Joe Fest posters. Uh, we've got, uh, which one is which? Uh, this is the, uh, that's the Robert Atkins. Yeah, uh, it's Robert Atkins posters. Um, Cold Slither, that's cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was really nice to connect with him, and he is, uh, he got some, a really positive attitude. He's very, very much community-minded, uh, and so, uh, hopefully that will be, uh, the next, basically the next JoeCon, so we'll see about that. Uh, one more thing to show you, uh, is this. This is a sketch that was done for me by none other than Cujo from G.I. Joe Bird. Now Cujo is, uh, he's mysterious, terribly mysterious. He doesn't appear on camera very often, um, but uh, it was my privilege to meet him. Uh, I got to meet his wife too. Uh, great people, uh, love him. Uh, and um, he was kind enough to do a sketch for me. And I love this, he was doing the sketch uh, while I was interviewing the South African G.I. Joe Bird guys. Um, in the video that you probably saw on this channel. Uh, while I was doing that, uh, he was doing this, and it's, it's super fun. So uh, thank you for that, Cujo, and really great to meet you. Wow, we got a lot of stuff this month. Thank you to everyone who sent something in. Um, and and if, if for any reason I missed something that you gave me, um, or I didn't say your name right, or, or anything like that, I apologize. Uh, I want to make sure everyone knows how much I appreciate you, and uh, again, this is uh, this is special. I this is something that we do together. This is uh, a joint uh, effort uh, that we are doing with this channel to remember and appreciate GI Joe, and um, the things that you donate. They help so much. Uh, they make a big difference to me. But more importantly than that, it's a way that I get to connect with you. Uh, and so I want to make sure that everyone knows that I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, and again, like I say every time, you don't have to send anything. Uh, I'm not doing this so I can get stuff. I'm, I'm doing this because I love doing it. I love uh, connecting with you guys. Uh, I love sharing uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, I love going back and reliving some of those memories, uh, taking a fresh look at some of the toys that we played with back then. And I enjoy learning new things about G.I. Joe that I didn't know before. And most importantly, I enjoy interacting with you, meeting you, uh, uh, talking with you, and, and that is the most important thing. People. People are always the most important. So uh, thank you. Uh, if you would like to send something to me, uh, just send me an email. I'll put the email address right there. Uh, shoot me an email, uh, and I'll tell you how to send it. 
Um, and if I get more stuff, I'll open it up. I'll put it on camera like this. Uh, and if I don't get no more stuff, then I won't. It'll be s as simple as that. That's another month in the books, um, another month of uh, stuff being unboxed and shown to you, and my haul from JoeCon 2018 in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I believe the next video should be a Cobra Convergence video. Thank you very much. Um, I will see you guys soon for a G.I. Joe toy review. Thanks for watching this. Sorry if it was too long, but um, I will see you next time.